Alright. We're in Valentine. Optional missions, not cool. What else am I gonna do? Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Kill more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. I got it. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, we got this volcanic pistol. We can take a look, right? Yeah. Weapon needs cleaning. Take a look. Tricky country here. Yeah, high vantage point. Where is that? Oh. Benedict Albright. Oh, sir. Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No. Uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine, and I heard him. Uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. 
for taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. There's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. No. Oh, shoot. I wonder if you can actually get him off there. Pulling up a grown man with one arm is something else. Pilot me. Grab on to something. Don't you dare down. Look out, the rapids. Hold your breath. All right, try. He's dead. Got you now. Oh, okay. Never mind, he got out. Oh, he's gonna drown if I hold him in the water like that. Get out of the water. He's all muddy. I'm getting my clothes dirty. Suffering from exposure. You got a touch of the consumption. Oh, I seem to keep blacking out. Uh, sir, I must warn you, my temperature is subnormal. I have medicine in my pocket. Pass it to me, please. I ain't got time or patience for this. Sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man. A healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Why, who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was uh, just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? Cell in the back. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. No, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. Madam. Yeah, it's auto. Read that auto save. F1. I'll stop him from falling off the cliff so you can. All time within a minute 15 and return within a minute 30. Wow. That seems hard. What's this, uh. Vicious marker up here. About time we went on tear. Ooh. Hey, what the hell is your problem? They won't forget the O'Driscoll name anytime. I don't think I've seen you in town before. You just arrived in these parts. If I would know better, I think you boys might be looking to scare some old ladies out of their chairs. Some O'Driscolls. Mark your target! Oh, what the hell? You got your gun? to the stranger. Nice, I can just go right back in. Uh, okay. One way to get off the horse. Oh my God. Sylvia's saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. Who's your friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men. Hang tight. I'll be right back one sec. We can watch this sleeping guy. I'll be right back real quick. Sorry, one time.
All right. Thank you guys very much for your patience. I go answer the. Uh, I had to go answer the door. Ooh, photo mode. Oh, filters. <laughs> okay. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now you kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book. You got some gotta rotten teeth. Thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. <laughs> How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Cool. Uh, photo mode. Which coach is in the railroad? From the pause menu. Okay, cool. Boy. Let's see, I've gotten every all the missions in Valentine. Zoom out. Let's go to the Reverend. I think if I remember this mission correctly, it takes us back to the camp, so that seems to be efficient. Oh, get out of the way, buddy. Man, I hadn't done anything that was dishonorable the entire time. I got in my way.
here. Lord have mercy. Oh my god. Shit. Easy. Whoa, whoa, easy. Whoa. Okay. Now, just a scratch. You doing good, girl? There. Hop on. Get a new horse. <laughs> Hitching it in camp. Okay, I'll take this thing back to camp. Mm, I got a yep. serious thing up here. Did the university send you? Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really? Laughed at. Balderdash. I've never come across what this are lady. You doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and ah, look at and those views. Fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Is Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. <laughs> Good day to you, sir. Good day. Find 30 dinosaur bones. I might do some of these challenges. Yep. See, how do I bond with this horse enough to keep it? Maybe I just have to ride it enough, give it some food, yeah. brush it. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an Odrisco saying so. Understand me? You really shouldn't rile me. Ain't wise. You'll be meeting the Reaper!
I wanted that horse, man. Dang of Driscoll's. Well, at least I'm almost here to the station. That's fine. Sir, I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat. Friend, I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Why not? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. I don't even know how to play poker. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Bet on who has the Same best hand, a bluff or a bluff with a weaker one. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something Ten spade, like that. Or no, Can we queen play? spade, ten of clubs? That clubs, right? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur has made a pair by combining the queen in his He's hand with the queen in the community cards. This is a reasonable time. hand to bet with. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all okay. right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. Huh. Fourth community card is known as the turn. Ace is a scare card. If another player has made a pair of aces, they will beat your pair of queens. You might consider betting low. Okay. Not just a little wager. Come on. At least make it interesting. After the fifth community card known as the river has been dealt, there's a... I missed it. By also matching the 10 in the community cards, Arthur had made two pairs, queens, and tens. A decent hand and a good basis to bet confidently. Sometime I'm, before we all grow old, we'll I'm be a nice. play slow. I'm out of, almost out of money. Hmm. There you go, pile of crap. Not looking good. Yes! Yeah, I won three bucks. Mm-hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Let's go ahead and leave the game. We won one hand. Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Sit down. I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. 
Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where is... <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. You crazy? Come on, boy. Off him. Say to me, I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now. Oh, my head itches, and I gotta fight this guy. Okay, I'm getting. Fools. Shoot. I'll kill you both. And last one. I said stop, damn it. Okay, okay. Please don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. The last thing I needed. <sighs> now what? Where's Reverend? I like this place. I want to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Get it. Come on. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, oh, no. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home. Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> All right. Hey, I was right. We do have to take him back.
Uh, shoot, I thought I killed Reverend Swanson with that flash. Like, I thought I hit his head on the stump and he died, but I ran over a squirrel or something. You always do. Thank you, Arthur. I should have known. Get that fool back to his tent to sleep it off. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky. This time. Real lucky. Um, bronze. Oh, win two hands of poker and return within two minutes five. Ah, okay. uh, hello, Mr. Morgan. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. All right, who we got left? Let's go over to Kieran. Let's eat up. Talk to them. To Dutch. When you grab a bowl of stew, you'll need to wait a few days before being able to grab another. Let's use one of those. My arms is gonna fall off. You got some speaking to do of your own. Not that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I've just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Uh -huh. Geld him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. 
just gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, no you kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll is holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, but I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to cold? Oh boy. That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. <laughs> Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might. I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Ooh, yeah. Look at that light. Here. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Huh? Watch out! Why are you what running that, huh? over the place? How you holding up, John? Where right. you going? Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so, but I fear you don't know how to help anyone, except in yourself. You see, old Driscoll, if this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Bill, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. Now we go left. The uh, road will take us up and round. Hold left control and then yeah. That's kind of hard. Okay. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know. You all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this gang. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them? You're out to survive like them? You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? 
This is why you're oh, my dead, I think, ran out. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Combs a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boss, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. Careful, But if Morgan. we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay. I don't want to explore me. those cabins over With there. you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said eat. Really? Oh, no. There we go. You see. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey. There, there. You see? Okay. Get down. Cabins in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there too. Are these fellers armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers? Yup. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there, someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell them yourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. He's yours, Williamson. And out there, Bill. Okay. I got him. Don't move. Just stay here, Morgan. Don't you damn move. The next two. What's the plan? Keep back where they won't hear us. When I move, you move. Take them out at a distance. I can do that. Sooner we get this over with. Get to it, then. Better be. Feather 
on the law. What we doing about him? Take him quiet, Marston. Okay. Get your hands dirty for a change. Dang, that's brutal. get this guy oh what shoot Man, I really thought I could get through that stealth. Up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. <laughs> <laughs> right you are. Playing poker in here. Let me get that double barrel. Something tucked away. Six hundred bucks. Seventy-five. 
silently kill four O'Driscolls. Man, 12 headshots, 80% accuracy. And I don't know. What, I guess that you can get that guy got spooked because I didn't kill him in one shot with the knife. But I thought every knife throw was a one shot. saying elixir will increase your health experience oh able to search the rest of those cabins. Oh, Javier is way out there. Let's go back to Dutch. Gonna ride on by the lawman. The second they stopped searching, I appeared. Getting dark. Post where? Hey, Arthur. Ain't nothing, Hosea. Go to sleep. Easy. You're okay. Easy. It's 
it's okay. <laughs> Uncle Jeb, my mother's brother's cousin, <laughs> he was kind of funny. One of those men you, uh, you didn't want to be left alone with on account of him doing, well, you know what I mean, not right with young men. <laughs> Anyways, he wanted to take me fishing. No, I didn't want to go. Mr. Morgan. If it's one place men act funny, Mr. Morgan. it's around. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> One of the girls Andy's. saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. All week long he's me yes, to come I never liked end. that woman, Mr. Morgan. Honey business. Said, I never liked Ned much either. I figured, well, they could do the damnedest to each other. Turns out they did. Only weren't Jeb drowning Ned like I reckon, but <laughs> Ned, he went and, well, stabbed Jeb right in the moneymaker. <laughs> Turned him into Aunt Jemima. <laughs> no word of lie. <laughs> yeah. So see you're back to lazing about again. <laughs> Ain't that? Oh, sorry, I was muted. That was a very weird story, Uncle. with the Abe Lincoln. Change up the clothes. I maybe got one or two more missions before I got to take off. Let's go do. Let's go do the Hosea mission. Hosea. Hey Arthur. Hosea. You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big Shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big... Loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I. Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables mm. always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. Let's lighten the load here, boy. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Oh, you bond with the horse for when you saddle it. Okay. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. 
I got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Just feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. A couple of leads. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, good boy. Lord have mercy. Yeah, okay, boy. Yeah, okay, boy. Stables are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Hmm. Well, here we got Morgan. American Standard Bread, Thoroughbred. Maybe I should save up for this Dutch Warm Blood. Ardennis, Sardinus. This thing can get a lot of help. Is it part of some sort of pack I have? You're a... You're a... Hang on. What? And it matches the horse.
Braid, long, short, regular. Go with braid. Fortify horse. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. I need to rename it. You have my word on that. Here are your papers, and on me, a new grooming brush, and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you, you treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Whoa! You won't know till you get in the saddle. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So, how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's a code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. <sighs> Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Look at that. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Where do you think Mike and Lenny got to? Susan sent them out scouting, but I figure they'd be back by now. I have no idea. I hope they weren't picked up. Why she sent Mike, I don't know. He's effective in his own way. And Lenny's got a good head on his shoulders. Well, yeah, shouldn't have taken him this long. No, but no point thinking the worst. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. <laughs> yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. It's a hunter rabbit. Let's do it with a throwing knife. Okay, how do I activate? How do I activate that again? Oops. I gotta look it up. Let's see. Settings, 
these controls. E mapping. But Um, uh, it's probably way back at the top that I missed it. Context and is it context action? I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's just caps lock. can really do that in real life. Rip the rabbit skin off like that. Black tailed jackrabbit. Good job. Alright. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Animal camp. Now then you get a set up. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right, let's cook it up and then stow it. of this rabbit is there to cook unless this is all other stuff I had improved throwing knife you put an eagle feather on a throwing knife it improves it <laughs> some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. Ooh, look at that holster. You ready? Oh, give me a minute. 
Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I Grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear okay. meat. I think I got this done. Good. Virtually weaned on going. bear meat. Oops. What's the hold up here? This hold escaped to tear down the camp. But it means F, I guess. Okay, let's go. Come on, girl. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? <clears throat> well, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made I it work. It. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, so that sound. really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. For tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. For now, legendary animal tracking. Well, oh, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks, go into those trees. Wait a minute. There's something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Mm. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. else on the ground just here there's shit here watch your step looks real fresh reckon he's got to be close let's keep going Damn it. looks like the trail ends here we lost him for now uh, a little optimism arthur uh, well what do you think i think we split up in each look either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Let's use the bait. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it.
Predator bait. More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. <laughs> sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Oh my gosh. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. <laughs> uh, Arthur's not fine. Nothing at all. Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old. And I swear I saw his uh game. his entrails get pulled out, story. Arthur. It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, let's go with Hosea. I'm coming with you. <laughs> let's get going then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it's a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. Idiot. Hmm. Act the bear complete within 12 minutes. Shoot the bear at least six times. Okay. Do within 12 minutes, huh? I renamed my horse here. Morning, Arthur. Hey, old Driscoll. I reckon you must be in the wrong camp. Not this Oops. again. I didn't mean to antagonize him. I'm only kidding around. It ain't right. Playing with a fella's emotions like that. Arthur. Hey. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here, what they want? I have no idea. Do they see him? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm resolved to try it. 
Trim our chops back down. We're gonna go to sleep so we can save and that's gonna be it for me for right now. Sleep for 20 hours. Arthur deserves it. Get some sleep. go all right everybody thank you guys very much for hanging out chatting everything you do i really appreciate it i don't think i'll be back tomorrow but um i'll give it a shot but it's not looking good probably next time i'm back is wednesday wednesday is probably wednesday afternoon is probably next time I'm back here so like i said i appreciate you guys hanging out chatting and everything like that and i will catch you guys next time have a good one.